I'm truly so addicted that I have to continue on love. So there's a few more things that we have to say is that we have to understand our we're sick with love in a negative way. And all our relationships are not healthy. Most of us struggle in all different levels with our relationships. And there's nothing worse for human beings to not have good relationship. Our whole life depends on it. Our whole positivity depends on it. And our main work is really to fix those relationships. Your whole life is, is about relationships. Um, and we, why do you think God created so many different types of relationships? Brothers, sisters, mother, children, friends, aunt, uncle, all those stuff. Uh, everything is for us to build all different possibility levels of relationship. And our whole work as Jews is to be a light to the nation. The Rambam says that the way we're going to bring the, the, the world closer to God is by showing the intensity of love that we have for God. How we achieve that? By starting first in our own family, how much love I'm going to demonstrate to my kids about how much love I have for my wife. Um, and, and, and the wife for to a husband. And we have to build families of love. And when non-Jews are going to look at us and see, wow, so much love, I want that. Because really that's what we are craving for. Then, then we're going to be able to turn the entire world in that direction. And we're going to create, uh, and the, the, not all, the, all the world is going to uh, want to love God. That's, that's what the Ramam says. So, we we have to live a life. Our every one of our mitzvot have to be a mitzvah um, uh, of love. All our six hundred thirteen commandments again are six hundred thirteen uh, ways to love God. And the problem is that love is sometimes done in a very unhealthy way. It's very hard to be health healthy in our love. Addictions can be destructive, like everything. And uh, as we saw in the last week's parsha in uh, Ab- Nadav and Abihu in Parsha Shmini, who they were so in love with God that uh, they didn't get married and they didn't get involved with the physical world and they just weren't going to God and God burned them. Uh, the, the love has to be healthy and harmonious. We were in the week of Tiferes, of Sphira Saomer, and we is the week of harmony when you have to harmonize all those different relationships, all those different desires, and. So yeah, we have to look at every relationship and our relationship with ourselves, with people, with God, and see which one is healthy, which one is not, and find ways to love the other. Um, and, uh, you know, this is why it starts with Sfer Chesed. Olam Chesed Ibane, the world is built out of love. And the whole beginning, the whole, uh, the first week of the seven weeks of Sfer Taomer, is start with chesed. Chesed is love, expansion, and we have to expand, expand, and then all the other sfirot, gvura, tiferes, netzar, hod, yesod, machus, uh, are all um, forces that helps us direct the love and make the love from something spiritual into something of everyday life, very physical, emotional. So uh, we have to, and I'm speaking to myself, of course. We all have to re-examine how we love things. And how, when you say love, loving food, loving uh, uh, work, or loving, we, we might love it in an unhealthy way. First of all, if it's not correct, connected, every love, every pleasure has to be connected to the ultimate love, the love of God. Every desire that we have is a sample, again, of, of, of loving God. And we have to, but, but some brings us in a different direction. In everything positive, there's something negative, something spiritual, something, something unspiritual. So that the, 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 the spiritual love can be trapped by the forces of evil and we are directed in a direction of evil. The best way to feel that love, in my personal experience, is learning who God is. Learning also the uh, Kabbalistic insight on our level, Hasidus, about um, one of the greatest book about it is Orne Rav, that tells us that you, unless you learn Kabbalah, you can't. This is what, by the way, it's from Moshe Kordover, Orne Rav, the sweet light. 
it's 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 impossible to really love God intensely if you don't learn the secrets of the Torah. This is what leads you to that. You realize how much Hashem is involved in your everyday life. Being aware of Ashgah Pratis, that Hashem is involved in everything that you do, that He's there, that every good thing that happened to you in your life. Did you have ever a day without food? Did you have a day without a roof? Did you wake up every day? Everything that you have is because God loves you and wants you to experience an, uh, an amazing life as a human being and use all that to experience even higher in the world to come. We, this whole world is a training, is a rehab of love. This whole world is a rehab where we're working on our sickness because we're sick of love, all our relationship, family, there's so many divorces. You know, I'm working as a married coach and it, it's, it's crazy. People don't know how to love. You have to learn how to love. Learn how relationship works. Being a Jew means I'm an expert in relationship. All the mitzvahs are mitzvahs that are supposed to enhance your character traits to have better relationship. So the Sphere Salomer time to work on character traits, it's so important. But, you know, it's, it's, uh, you can do all the commandments in the world if you don't know how to be a man, a human being, which is the beginning, which is Bereshish, which is love, which is the whole Sefer Bereshish has no commandments in there, only three which actually connected to love. Uh, uh, you will never achieve, uh, use the commandments the right way. All commandments have to start with love. But the world, world have to be healthy, and for that we have to be healthy in our mind and our heart. So refocus all your strength and everything you learn. First of all, choose things to learn <laughs> uh, from the Torah and, and, and the deep the secrets of the Torah. And then go, um, uh, uh, go and look at your life and see all the good things that happen in your life. Say the even self-esteem is all based on love. Look at all the good things you have. All the things you have is given to you by God. And God loves you, cares about you. When you feel that, then you can start doing the mitzvahs and use the mitzvahs and look at them. It's like, how is this mitzvah helping me enhance my love for myself, for, for God and for other people? And uh, yeah, may we fall in love. I love you all.